eyes of little kids. And when I explained to my five-year-old that in the most powerful, most affluent country in the world, that you can still die because you don't have enough money to see a doctor or to get into a hospital, right? Their eyes bug out, right? Because that doesn't make any sense. And the, and the idea that this place is about to make a choice to take healthcare away from 23 million people in order to give a tax cut to millionaires and billionaires is morally bankrupt. And you know what? It is evil. Right? Oh, yeah. who, who runs for Congress, right? Who runs for Congress in order to take away basic access to keep yourself alive in order to muster up enough money in order to hand another huge tax cut to millionaires and billionaires. No Paul Ryan does! Paul Ryan does! Apparently, apparently, potentially, a majority of the United States Senate, right, yeah. thought that it was their mission in life to come to this place and to, be, and to take health care from people who needed to give a tax cut to millionaires and billionaires. Listen, if you give me a choice between millionaires and billionaires and drug companies, and insurance companies and Signe, I'm going to choose Signe every single time. Yeah. Yeah. So, any of you guys have a copy of the bill? No. Seriously. No. 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 Where's the bill? Listen, Cory Cory Booker and Brian Schatz and I, we went down to CBO. We took a cab down there to see if we could find it yesterday. They didn't have it. Uh, well, I've been I've been just walking around the complex, kind of looking under couch cushions, <laughs> opening doors that I'm not supposed to open, looking in for the bill, uh, and and we can't find it. And 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 listen, this is outrageous. The fact that they are going to reorder one fifth of the American economy, and they are not going to tell anybody what is happening to their lives until about ten minutes before the debate to start. Am I right? Is that outrageous? Outrageous! Right. No! So, so they have to tell us? And listen, here's what I said on the Senate floor a couple of days ago. I said, you know what? The fact of the matter is, if you are from one of the states in which you're represented by a, a senator who's in these secret negotiations, well, then you can know what's in that legislation. But why, do, but, why do, but why do the people of Connecticut have any less of a right to know what's about to happen to their lives, right? Yeah. Right? Why just because you're represented by Democratic senators should you not know how your life is about to be potentially devastated by this piece of legislation, right? Yeah. This isn't right. And, and, and the only thing that I know, the only way that I know how to cure the anxiety that, that we feel, the, the, the anger that we feel, the only thing that I know that's a cure is political action. Yes. And so, and so let me tell you what I believe. I believe that today, as we stand here, they don't have the votes yet. I still think they are short, right? I, they might have 48, they might have 49. I don't think today they have the votes, which means everything that you are doing right now, every additional friend that you were able to pull into this conversation, Right? Every phone call you can make, every senator's waiting room that you can stand in until you get an answer, it makes a difference right now. I, I don't think they have the votes yet. Now, they might get them, but we are going to lie down on the train tracks if that's what it takes in order to stop the train. And you will, you will... You will breathe fire into the mouths of Democrats That's by being true. here today, right? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. You will instill fear in the hearts of Republicans who are thinking about voting for this. And we will make sure that if they do this, and, and I'm telling you, they don't have the votes yet, so they might not, but if they do this, then there's going to be hell to pay all across yes. this country. Yes! Because why, why would you run for Senate? Why would you run for Senate on a promise of hurting millions and millions of Americans just to be able to hand another big tax cut to people that don't need it? This, this, this is morally bankrupt. This is evil. This is wrong. And we still have time to stop it. So go to it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.